Greetings everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4, Road to 56, and which we're playing as everyone's favorite, Kingdom of the Netherlands, in which we're going to form a new government. Um, and that's all the way over here. Our current government is weak and is now on the verge of falling yet again. We will give a new Prime Minister the task of forming a stronger cabinet. The fifth cabinet of Colgion is once again, like its predecessors, fallen. And the Minister of State, Duc Jean de Guerre, has been asked to take up the responsibility of forming a new government. Having served, last served in 33, he has proven his abilities to serve his country in peacetime, while mounting world tension, though. It's unclear on how the new Minister President will likely will handle leading the nation in a war that looks increasingly more likely. Let's hope it's more stable than the last. We get Duc Jean de Guerre. He's a defeatist! How great! But gateway to Europe. The Netherlands is a gateway of trade into Europe. A fact that is well understood by our trade partners. Though while their position gives us strength, it also puts in an unenviable predicament. While the British aim to blockade their likely enemies on the continent, the Germans wish for us to increase the flow of trade back to the countries through ours, using us as a back door to avoid the blockade. Um, uh, I'll be honest with you, this is on ahistorical, and we're pretty much just going to go with the F word here and go Volk and... Oh, hello. Uh, Vadalan. That's what, this is where I want to go, just because I've done... Let's see, fascist Netherlands before, but it's been a long time, and I don't remember anything about that campaign, and that was like one of the first campaigns I did on this channel, so. Um, now we get 1.1 for political power every day. Ooh, what is this? Illegal s women. Huh. Traditional roles. It's been an extraordinarily long time since I've actually played um, Road to 56. So, we'll see what happens. Communal decision making, huh? And what do we have over here? Military theorists. Cool. Anything over here? Balance approach. Damage garrison goes up. Individual rights. Yeah, individual rights. Schmites. Whatever. So, yeah, we don't do gateway to Europe, so we get more political power. Um, these make it possible to give trade influence points to Germany and the Reich. So we have that stuff, but yeah, we definitely want to try to go fascist, so. Um, we need more daily fascist support here, please. Or at least more political power at the very least. War support. Liberal journalist, fascist demagogue. That's completed focus, NSB vic electoral victory. Uh, maintain trade neutrality. So, and we, ooh, that's good to get some armor or not armor, artillery because we have none. Uh, get some of that as well. Oh, ooh, flamethrowers. Hmm. Huh. We don't have any of this, so let's get some fighters. Fighters would be quite nice, as well as planes and stuff like that. Improve working conditions. Signal enable to sign. We have like literally no war support. Uh, foreign influence, over 56 extra stuff. Ethiopian Empire has capitulated. That is unfortunate for them. Oh, right wing victory in the French Republic. Alright. Military right command would be nice, but let's see what happens with this. A couple more days. Ooh. So we can't go that rock. Fashion gentleman. Captain of industry. Ooh, more political power would be very nice. Democratic or authoritarian. Ah, can't wait to hear. So now, which I've never done, I don't, I've not tried this off screen, so I don't really know what's, how we're going to do this. Uh, unite the Lowlands, which is what we want to do. And we need all the Belgian states, because we do want to go to war with them. For an influence. Oh. There you go. No. Polish Romanian alliance. Cool. Alright, so we kind of have to wait, I guess. Cave to fascist influence, or should we be pursuing a different government type of influence to keep up our neutral policy? Well. This kind of sucks. At least 25 points. 25 points. Maintain trade neutrality. Okay, to the British. Well, let's take a look here. Abandon the gold standard, which would give us nothing, which is not great. And we have obtained um, foreign colonial investments. So if I had to focus, why not? Well, they're strongly anti colonialists. The Americans have nevertheless long had an economic interest in our colonies, in particular the West Indies. Along with the British and Japanese, they yearn to make investments in our colonial development. Both in the West and the East, we should encourage this. Temporary bonuses of consumer goods and construction speed. A permanent increase in oil production in the East and West Indies. Eh, I'll try it out. Look at that political power. Wow. Um, that's not, actually, that's not bad. Phillips? Hmm. I kind of like that, but that's not really worth getting. Resistance Banker? Hmm. Adventurous Daredevil sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Prince of Terror. Compassion Gentleman. Ooh, this guy's not bad. Liberal journalist, of course. Back from backstabber. Um, well, I do want to get some more army XP, but we can't get any of that. Oh my goodness. 225? Jesus, that's so much. Well, personality cult. We can start going down that way. Why not? 
political actions. We might want to get more war support. Stability is not bad already. I mean, stability is pretty darn good already. So, don't really want to do that one. After this one, maybe a bad in the gold standard. Refusing to drop the gold standards cost us tremendous resources these past few years. Now that France has left the gold block, the only Swiss, only the Swiss and ourselves remain. This town has come to allow the devaluation of the Gilder, and he's a freed up resources to prove the sorry state of our defenses. Pretty much. Pretty much. Press censorship. Meh. Eh, I don't know about that one. Traditional roles. Limited rights. Total equality. Your weekly manpower is not bad, but you lose a lot of factory output, which I don't like. Social order. Ooh. Hierarchy. It's not bad. Revolutionary minds. Melting pot, of course. Pretty normal. Ooh, that's actually... No, we can't be fascist for that one. And the greater good. That's not bad. Either. Cool. Oh. Mm. Oh, here we go. Obtain foreign colonial investments. Uh, foreign investors. Attracting more f investors and fund parts of colonial developments will lighten the financial burden on us and allow us to dedicate more resources to the continent. Foreign industry. Foreign industry and foreign investors. Construction speed is not bad. Attract West Indies oil companies. Ooh. Many foreign oil companies have expressed an interest in rebuilding funds in Curacao and Aruba. And share processing Venezuela and oil and all the riches that come with it. Cool. With the help of foreign oil companies, the refiners in East Indies could be expanded without great cost to ourselves, allowing us to match increased demand on, all of, on oil in East Asia. Not that much more. One building saw and a civilian factory to Java, Sumatra, Kalimantan, Kalimantan after taking the decision 3, 6, and 10 times respectively. Well, that's not terrible either. I kind of like that too. I'm a little disappointed though that you can't get any more uh, influence points from either side. Right? So. Political power is zero. Yeah, no one's really done anything. Yeah, I was still pretty early on. I don't mind doing all this stuff. 5% is not nothing to laugh at. But at the same time, I just want to keep getting some stuff here too. But when is the election? That's my question. Cave to Comics influence is this. Monarchist influence. Unity through democracy. And right now, oh, 37. So we got to wait a while, which does kind of suck, suck, suck. Uh, consumer goods... De temporary consumer goods or permanent consumer goods? Well, this guy's going to be gone anyway soon. Well, not soon, but close enough. That guy's fine. Honestly, I can we get a chief of the army? We need more command power first. Mm. Order above all. Chance strikes months 100% is actually pretty good. Damage garrisons too, uh, that's pretty... That's very nice, I'll put it like that. You know what? Screw it. Let's do that one first. Throw that one too. Did that help out at all? No. Is that worth it? Keep investing in the earth and stuff like that. I'll just trading more stuff too. So. We gotta speed along here as much as we possibly can. Oh! Air equipment research experience cost. Oh, that's alright. And minus 3% air research speed, which is not terrible. Recovered from the Great Depression. Oh boy. National Union Government, of course. And then pillarized society. That's a gold standard. Remilitarization of the Rhineland. Hopefully, they don't want to try to kill us off. We'll see what happens. And. Yeah, we'll see. I was thinking about doing Belgium too in a fascist Belgium route, but. Oh well for now. The divisions that we have are what? We have two bicycle divisions that require support command. They're eight combo width. Good god, they're tiny. Good god, they're weak. But we also have eight infantry divisions, which are 18 combo width, but we still need way more guns. So, like normal, we're out of stuff completely. Games. We love games. Relocate government to Batavia. Press censorship. Uh, controls. Speed. Ooh, little Spain killing itself. There, keep doing those. Because we can't. Why not? I bet on the gold standard. And then this is this one. Continue the Public Works Administration. The Crown Jewel. The Crown Colony Jew. 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 Jewel. Cruel Jewel Colony. I can't speak. Oh, that's not bad either. That's actually pretty darn strong. Recent refinery. Uh, continue the public works project. 70 days for one focus. Hmm. Hmm. Works. You know, this is part of the, uh, hmm. Hmm, which way do we want to go? Netherlands first sounds like fun. Or new Supreme Commander. Hmm. Production on a license, which we probably won't go. 
Indonesian lines, of course. Naval stuff. Air stuff. Which I do want to get a lot of cast. Cast is very nice. Ooh, that's not bad. Modernized air fleet. But it only lasts for a year, which does kind of suck. Public works. Uh, I guess. We must continue the great public works started in the late 1920s. The reclamation of our land and construction of new canals, roads, and tunnels not only creates jobs, but also serves to improve the nation. Why not? Because we can. What are the Belgians up to? Are they going... Uh, oh, they are going fascist. Nationalism? Led by Paul Van Zeelen? Oh god, we're both going fascist. Let go the, the lowlands. I'm going to this. Two infrastructure. This isn't worth it. Some radio, that's good. Uh, some truck renos. Get started working on some of that stuff too. And some better fighters. Nice. Dive bombers, dive bombers, torpedo bombers. Well, I guess technically dive bombers are what we want. Bombers are okay, but we're going to dive bombers. Nice. Good stuff. And then what? Anti fascist raids. Foreign investors. Well, that didn't really help us at all, but now we lost one factory too. Hmm. Java. Hmm. Sumatra. Curtail colonial autonomy. Continue the. Zui Derzi works. If we don't go here, we will get we won't be able to do this stuff. If we don't go to the left side, we can't do this stuff. Liberation, this capital of Holland. I think it makes more sense for us to go on the right side here. And I definitely want this one as well. Research slot would be very nice. Overturn military budget cuts. More war but would be good. Better command power. Eh, it's alright. Just takes so long. 70 days is so long to just wait for that stuff. Eh, I keep doing it anyways. Do means break with the crown, oh boy. Well, up next. Mm. Yeah, I can do it. Overturn the military budget cuts. The economy has been recovering surprisingly quickly after we abandoned the gold standard. The military budget cuts we were forced to implement to keep the gear from devaluing can now be overturned. More oil? Well, I guess we get none. Thanks, guys. Now we have plenty of oil. As your autonomy probably goes up higher and higher and higher. Uh, let's go look. Then oversight. Local autonomy for now while we still have it. Do that one too. Uh, manage subjects. 502. Is it going up? Probably. Barely going up. It's like a point every two days. All right. Yeah, it's 30, almost 37. Almost 37. I kind of mind doing these ones. But we'll probably do... What? A bonus. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, hmm. Uh, finish the Nordost Polder. How to closing off the Zwidzuri by building the Alfs Luidisk and therefore creating the artificial Ijelmer Lake. Must not finish the land reclamation project of the Nordost Polder. Also give us better infrastructure more room for industrial and agricultural expansion. The Mass Tunnel. Our great rivers are phenomenal obstacles, but by digging tunnels under them, we can dramatically improve our infrastructure. The Moss Tunnel will be the first of these, greatly improving accessibility to the city of Rotterdam from the south. Yeah, it looks like people are killing each other too. Oh, actually, Andorra's its own thing, huh? Alrighty, let's see. You can't send volunteers because we're not that big and mighty. But we're going to grab William Huckstro to get some daily army XP gain because, my god, we could really use it. And get some more buffs to our infantry. That'd be probably pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. As we're only... 90% fascist. Ah, oh, what a shame. Only 90%. Uh, let's go over here. China looking okay. China doing some Chinese Soviet stuff. Look at that guy. Red cornered fox. Oh god. All oh, extra defense. A Puyi, Yan, Chiang Kai shek, uh, USSR. Are they defense industry? I wonder if we're gonna have a. Ooh. Ooh, training activities curtailed. Ooh. Let's see. And then this one too. Very nice. Imagine having. Ooh, oh, save our sons. No convoys, no war, no death for American boys. American First Committee, help us keep. Help us in your fight. Oh boy. Well then. Hmm. April. Well, when do we have elections? Anarchist uprising sounds like fun. Uh, 
Oh, it actually gives you 1% more recruitable population. Factor. That's interesting. And Pakistan's free. Oh, Paki, Paki, Pakistan. Tonganistan. Tonganistan, huh? From Kui. Sheng Shikai. Ma Hushan. Fascist in government election. An aggressively national sentiment is growing in the Kingdom of the Netherlands, giving rise to several parties promoting fascist ideals, a state enforcing its power through the force. Through the force, not Star Wars, but through force. What is in particular is one favor in the current election, leading to discussions within the CHU party about whether or not we should try to cooperate with them in forming a government. While they openly reject the democratic ideals that are the foundation of our state, the fact that they choose to participate in the election it's le itself lends some credibility to our views, and acknowledging that their public support may help keep them away from taking final action. Rather than the communists, a broad coalition of democratic parties is preferable. Well, that actually really shot us up to 33%, which is actually not bad. Now we can try all that stuff. Uh, anything else we really want here first? Anything for these guys? Cavalry? We don't really have any cavalry. Um, defense wouldn't be bad. Henry Winkleman. But we do want to go on the offense as well. So, Oh! We looked at the Americas Beyond. Cool. Full fuel is very nice. Flamen weapons. Yes, please. Keep working on that stuff, too. Very good. Um, naval stuff, maybe? Air stuff, maybe? No, yes. Actually, that's quite a bit. I, and I like that quite a bit, actually. I banish thee. Uh, nation building, of course. Advanced way is killing stuff. What is this? Save extras? Okay. For now. For now. Economic policy? Are you going to stuff? Intr no, that's not bad, too. Yeah, not too much else. Um... Oh. Well, okay. Well, I guess we have to wait for this one even further. My bad. K K to fascist influence. Or we should be pursuing a different government. Universal exhibition sounds kind of cool, though. No one's invested in us. How oh, great. Oh, Poland's killing itself. Nice. Oh, well, there's that. I could be doing this completely wrong. My apologies if I am. Fuel. Um, got some soft attack, because you can. Why not? And then what? Ooh. Yeah, military factories. The artillery in the Rashtigan manufactures munitions in a small number of small, ar small arms and are licensed for our forces. It should be expanded if we aim to increase our military. Pretty much. Oil? Can are these just repeatable all the time? Or I got one done. That's not bad. Um, uh, we keep doing talk about women here. Hmm. Can't really afford very much now, can we? Well, we didn't really get very much for electoral victory. Like, it's just... Interesting. Huh. Well, regardless. Continue the works. Phillips. Rich slop. See Phillips. Phillips has long been a market leader in radios and other electronics. Perhaps by contracting or contracting and funding this Dutch electronics company, we might achieve some breakthroughs of our own in this increasingly important type of military equipment. And we can make aluminum mills. Of course, we have the SRD. Um, it's not bad. Recovery rate's not bad either. Organization's not bad. Here, do an army focus because you can still. And truth be told, if we're anything, we don't have a lot of manpower, so we'll probably go with trade and addiction. So. If we will, we will use subs. So with that, that'd be kind of a waste. Consumer air support. Artillery attack and defense. Plus points. Right now. That's not bad. Let's grab some of that stuff. As I'm not entirely sure how else we're going to be able to get more fascist influence, to be honest with you. Ban communism, but communism is not that important. It's literally two, less than 2%. It's going up by 0 0.01 every day, which does really, really suck. Hmm. There's all this stuff. Implement the program. Cute. It's a different government type from our influencers. Well, it doesn't matter. In the end, we're going to go faster no matter what. Uh, Phillips. 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 Expand R&D facilities. Our industrial expansion and other recent advance might allow us to conduct more R&D in parallel. Especially if we expand upon Phillips' already existing facilities. Now, did the Belgians go fascist yet? No, they got so much influence, though. How? 
Hmm. Nationalism. No, I'm not seeing anything there for uh, Fascismus. Yeah, that's kind of a waste to do that stuff there. Uh, actually, that would be bad to do that one too. We get an okay amount of political power. Could use more, but, you know, whatever. Not a good amount of war support, though. Yeah. Clothing. Recovery rates. Engineers. That'd be kind of nice. Need more guns. Artillery's are doing okay, actually. We have, we have, oh. We're actually getting artillery. And improve as well. There you go. Can't make any division still, but whatever. Construction 2. I mean, it's way more difficult than it really needs to be. So, when can we actually do anything in terms of like going to war? Because if not, I mean, this, like I said, it's been a very long time since I've actually played Road to 56, so. Yeah. And at the Lowlands. Well, if Belgium goes to war with us, we'll be okay with that. Because if they go fascist, and the Belgian tree. Actually. Because in the Belgian tree, they do get to go to war with us, I think, over here. Support the Rex and Verdenasio. Verdenasio. Okay. Okay, the Nationals are for 900, so that's why they get more fascist influence. This is, like I said, it's on ahistorical, but... By the time we go to war, like... It'll be like 1940. And they can claim old... The uh, old Burgundian Netherlands. Burgundian Circle. And the Thielis Empire, or versus this one, too. Veronik Dietzen. So they definitely want to go to war with us, eventually. Now, I don't remember which way I did last time. That was actually pretty good. DAF. Ooh, getting our own steel, though. We are, you don't... We only extract 11. That's six... Six civvies and four millies. Or six civvies and four millies. Would you rather have Fokker? Or this one? DAF is a material designer. Using the non-DLC tree. Okay. So if we have them unlocked anyways, there's no point going down that way. So we have it already, so... As much as I want better consumer goods, getting more steel would be nice. But what happens if we take out Germany? Do we want Fokkers? It's alright. It's not worth it, in my opinion. I'd rather have Kulhoven, so probably this way is better. So we don't know about these, please go right ahead. Steel's not bad, but we can always import one or two, probably, right? Develop the Zanstan? Rather than focus on all of our efforts of building our upper large cities, we should distribute new industry more among the outlying areas. We could try it. Might as well. Alright, so with these guys, we definitely got to get some artillery. But then again, we have, like, nothing here. You know what? Put on just in case. You never know if we have to go to war. Actually, we did get another division out. That's nice. That's good, at least. Do we make any planes yet? No, but yes, actually, we did. Two just left. Expand R and D, and then we'll go with oh, continues. Z do Z works. The next stage of land reclamation is uh, Flevopolder. Flevopolder, named after the ancient Flevo, taken lake first mentioned in the Roman times. This is a tremendous project that will take many years to fully finish, but even in the short term, it gives us with ample rewards. At least we got five research slots now. That's kind of nice, actually. Okay, thirty-eight research speed. <clears throat> that one, a little bit of time still. That's not bad too. Oh, uh, grab some of that stuff. Nothing there, which is fine. Is no one trying to influence us? Bros. Oh, okay. In cave to the British now. Currently reporting is okay, so they're not democratic. Give them an export, cave to the Germans. 
gave to either fascist influence, pursuing different government type of influences. Okay, so we can do that one to do Volk and Vadenland, because we'll be pursuing a different government type of that of our influence to keep up our neutral policy. So go here to go there. This one gives you free trade. Yeah. Helps steer us away from other people. Army focus is done. Nice. Um, defense and max. Oh, that's pretty strong. Max entrenchment. Mm, fuel. I get some coordination first before I think about that stuff. Three is left. Oh, there goes. Ooh. All right. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Supply, how construction speed? That's different. Armored cars, armored trains. Okay, yeah. Why not? Three days left for this one. Not bad. Wish it would last longer, but it doesn't help us that much. It does help us a little bit, but not by that much. We can still do it. So we could probably do this one. The British are engaging in fierce trade negotiations with us. Demand that we reduce the flow of trade through our country. To Germany, as they fear the Germans will use us as a backdoor to escape the British blockade. And if we refuse, the British would simply blockade us too. This would be catastrophic to a barely recovered economy. So we have no choice but to do as they wish. And then maybe do a Volk and Vaterland. Our decision to favor one neighbor over the other neighbor means we have definitely abandoned our neutrality. The increase of pro-German voices and nationalist rhetoric, resulting from a recent decision, is starting to become very noticeable in our internal politics, such as in the form of the right-wing newspaper People and Our Fatherland. Peter Z work sparks infrastructure advancements. Work on the level pole has gone off to a good start, and though many years remain before the project will be fully finished, we can reap some of the fruits of our hard labor. And gaining practical experience with a land reclamation project of this magnitude, engineers have developed new methods for the construction of roads, railways, and waterways. If we invest in these advancements, we could gain significant improvements in these fields for the foreseeable future. Sounds like an excellent idea. Um, infrastructure investments, get more infrastructure speed. We're not really investing in infrastructure. We don't have the funds for this right now. Zweeter Z works spark industrial investments again. As progress continues on the level pole there, so does the industry supply this massive project grow. Engineers dedicate supply this project with the construction materials necessary have now gained new insights in the development of industry and the construction of factories and shipyards. If we were to invest in these advancements, we could gain significant improvements in this field for the foreseeable future, like earlier. Uh, from this reactor construction speed for 50 political power, we're running out of manpower, but sounds like an excellent idea. Well, everyone, the world's kind of gone to crap. Germany's gone to war with Austria, who was in the, joined the alliance of France, who, in which Germany went to war with Czechoslovakia, too. And I guess Romania and Hungary joined the Axis, but they're dead now. But apparently, the British joined the Axis. So trying to do this normally has kind of been screwed up. So my apologies, I have screwed things up here. But what else is new? Uh, in the meantime, I just want to kill off Belgium. And they, they actually did turn a fascist, so. But I did do a Friesland agricultural impetus. Increasing the agricultural yield of our small country will go a long way to improving self-sufficiency, and thereby reducing the need for imports, DAF. Our domestic car industry is non-existent, and could be well contracted to produce military vehicles. With some state assistance, Von Dors Anhangwagen Fabrik, DAF, could, could well become able to provide a military with all the motors and mechanized equipment it might need. So I did try this, but you can't go with this one, because it says, uh, or we shall be pursuing a different governmental type from our influences to keep up with our neutral policy. Well, no one's in... Investing stuff in us, so. Um, it does suck. No one's invested stuff. So, trying to do it like this has been kind of really sucky, but it's good to, good to know, in all honesty. It's good to know. Uh, motorized, better motorized, domestic jet engines. Can we actually get domestic institutions? Ah, we can't do all that stuff. God dang it. Continental shipping. Oh, well, that's not too bad, dude, actually. But, we can need some other stuff, maybe? Land auction, maybe? Grand battle plan would be good for, like, entrenchment and stuff, but we want to go in the offense eventually, right? Oh. Asymmetric warfare. Oh, more militia defense. Oh, they claim a mail, huh? Soft attack. Attack on core territory. Sudden envelopment. Deep infiltration. More attack on core territory. Backhand blow. Versus strength in militias. It gives you more population, which is nice to get more population, but still. Um, more organizations, good. Last stand. That's not bad too. Supply penalties. Really focus on that. Their militia. Breakout. Breakthrough priority. Operational concentration. Construction three is not bad. Yeah, it's of course 1939. War's already broken out. And Mina Mortis is here. We have the common turn, of course. 
So, with the continental system looks like, pretty much. And then... The British. And the German allies. Very odd. Very, very odd. Mm, yeah, we could, because, because why not. But I did want to show you what we're, where we're at right now. Uh, like I said, these guys did go fascist. So hopefully they go to war with us soonish, but there, no, there's no guarantee. We're going to use the army linguistically. After DAF, what are we going to do? So appoint, appoint a new Supreme Commander? Might as well. Our Supreme Commander is proving to be rather obstinate in its adherence to outright impossible defensive plans. He should be replaced. A new Winkleman could be recalled from retirement and it would likely prove a more amenable alternative. And we might as well prepare the Indonesian lines just in case. Ever since their independence against the Spanish in the 16th century, Indonesia and intentional flooding the land has been an integral part of our defenses. Properly prepared, it will surely save us again. We have yet to see a tank that can cross water. So, like I said earlier, this has kind of been screwed up. The Belgians have just gone to war with us. They're by themselves, but, you know, seeing as it's probably normal. They've also gone to war with the, the, the Luxembourgish, but, you know, whatever. Germany isn't doing so great right now, which might not be necessarily a bad thing. Hopefully they don't join anyone else. It says we can do really well in the offense. I kind of don't believe them, but I'm willing to try. And, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. We have another planes. Hey, I got a couple dive bombers. Might as well throw them in there, too. Um, yeah, I kind of screwed this campaign up already. Which, doing Road to 56 is kind of guaranteed at that point, but, you know, whatever. And then, you guys, this tier. Cool. And finish repairing it with can. Can we actually win here? I mean, these divisions are not as thick as I thought they would be. Antwerpen? Why not? Namur? Why not? Oh, look at Luxembourg. Oh, that's not good for us. Actually, how much supplies do we actually have? Artillery's not bad. We could use more, of course. Uh, they're going to be stacking more divisions on the border now since um, they didn't win the war against Luxembourg. But you know what? With them annexed, and we win here. Oh, no, we got to fight the Congo now. Watch out. We'll do okay, maybe. Or maybe not. We'll see. You hold. If I actually take the leash, that'd be great. A war propaganda would not be bad either, actually. Ooh. Foreign investors, we have to be at peace for that. That sucks. Next unification, close out of uh, this one for now. And. 1%, 1%, we'll go with 1%. That ain't not bad so far. Not bad so far. Oh, and now I knew they would start attacking us eventually. Fall of Nanjing, not good. Hold on, as best you can for now. We got plenty of artillery, though. And guns. It's actually okay. Um, Looking alright. We don't have a lot of anti-air. We have four. That's not good. Recon-wise, we have enough support equipment. We could throw in some recon. Throw in a thing of artillery, too. We don't got a ton. We got some extra factories. There we go. Do that, do that. Get one from France, maybe. Hopefully for now. Cool. As long as we can hold, that's all I really care about. I'm throw them in there too. Not looking great, but we could be looking worse. Engineers, better defense. Very nice. Oh, oh. Wait, why did they go to the Spanish Civil War? So, oh. All right then. Trying to attack anywhere is going to be kind of a, impossible. Can you guys actually do something here though? Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, the world's going blowing apart now. I mean, they're doing all right. Hold on, before we keep going on, though, let's take a look here. Um, they have what? Leopold the third. They've got stuff. Military youth is not bad. Belgian volunteers. Militarism, which is really good. Oh, they have civil unrest. Why is France... You know what? I'm not going to complain. Ooh, actually. Supervised state. I don't want to forget all about these guys. So, satellite the Congo? Mm-hmm. Ah, that's a Dutch Congo. Under new leadership. Well, this is not how I imagined us taking out these guys like this, but okay. Uh, try to recruit Flemish generals. It's not a bad idea. 
Um, I don't trust either side here. So, let's do it like this. Ooh, Fate of Alonia. I like talking about that type of stuff. Yes, please. We finally secured the lowlands, but this domination is only apparent. The Wolans fear for the right to practice their tongue. If their politicians refuse to support the unification of the lowlands under rule, it may recreate the conditions for a new Belgian revolt, like in 1830. Play Maria van Borgondi in the opera in Brussels. Grant some autonomy to the Walloons. Release Walloon as a puppet. No. No. Absolutely not. We did that. We need to do this stuff. We can do all this stuff to get down through there. Um, yeah. I think... This definitely needs... I don't know. Maybe it's just Road 56. It might... Doing it like, like normally might be better, but I'm trying to get more XP here is just really not easy. I keep training too, because we're not making any ships anyways. Excuse me. Of course, we only want subs at this point too, anyways. It doesn't really matter too much. Present agricultural imports is very nice, very very nice. Forty-eight factories are pretty good too. Anything import more rubber? Um, put it for them. Why not? I wish these were actually. You know what? We're still technically a democracy, so we get local autonomy. So we actually get more daily compliance gain. That's definitely not how I imagine us doing it like this. Mm, more vehicles. We'll be okay without this for now. Uh, Germany's a greater threat. I honestly, they're both on the axis. I don't think it really matters. War and pacifism. On shocks, war on pacifism decisions. Reliance on gold standard. How do we get rid of recovery from the Great Depression? South for defenses. Oh, uh, well, I guess we'll do this one. Might as well. Might want to get some military police as well. We got so many guns now. Holy crap. Light tank destroyers. Okay. Anti-air light tank. Or anti-tank, I guess I should really say. And we're 41%. There should be a point here where we can start doing like more f stuff, like fascist stuff. Or like getting more fascist influence and stuff like that. War propaganda would be good, though. But what does this one say? Inundate the water lines. The carefully prepared Dutch water line must now be flooded to prevent the advance of the enemy, uh, even though it will be causing damage to the countryside. Flooded. Way less speed. Way more defense. 50% defense. Holy crap. Wow. Realize the decimal unifying neighboring peoples to create a greater union. Uh, while the decision is active, up to three generals will be offered to join our cause. So we could try that. Wouldn't hurt us, but production under license. If you're going to this, please go ahead. I don't like doing that one. I prefer having our own stuff. Internal development equipment are over licensed production in the future. Oh, that's gone now. Um, well, okay. Request allied favors, huh? Well, one political power is okay. The western possessions, eh? Of course, we get down there. To get down here, though, we had to go to the Crown Jewel Colony. The West Indies are often overlooked in favor of their eastern counterparts, but they're rich in resources of their own. Ensuring the infrastructure is adequate in the first step towards potentially increasing industry and resource extraction in the area. Crown Jewel Colony. As India is to the British, so are the East Indies to us. However, the out current outdated infrastructure in the East Indies simply will not do to this endless modern age. Our national pride must be treated as such, and so the infrastructure shall be modernized to bring it in more line with what is expected as such an important part of our nation. 1939 still. Let's see. Ooh. Coordination? Yes. I like coordination quite a bit now. 40 stuff here. Anything here? No. Soft attack is nice. Hard attack is nice. Defense is nice. We only get entrenched. This only works when you're actually just stationary. I'm going to go with small arms firepower. That sounds like fun. We go mass assault. So, yeah. Anything else here? No. Anti-air upgrades are nice. Um, not really gonna do a... Ooh, what is this? Supply range, convoy highways, military police, police like I said, execution thrace, fuel from refiners are fine for now. Logistics maybe in the future. Anything down here? The egg infantry would be kind of nice. But do we need that? Ooh, actually, subs. Get some of this too. That'll be important for the future, probably. Bombies. Work on some of that stuff. 
15 divisions isn't bad, especially if they're all 21 combo with. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. Oh, look, it's China. Well, that was fast. The Chinese died really fast. The Germans are losing pretty badly. Um, I don't want to fight the Axis, but they're not doing that great. But they did invade Normandy. Ooh. It really looks like they're not doing that well. If you're down here, daily neutrality support? No, thanks. Huh. Little Churchill. Well, I don't plan on getting taken out, so. More organizations? Nice. Yeah, we should see something here eventually. But yeah. This is really disappointing to see that you can't really do too much with it about this stuff. We should have just taken some of this stuff earlier on, but NSB Electoral Victory is not a focus here. Yeah, that's not even a focus. Which must be part of the other focus tree. Which is just going to suck. But already for a couple more. Java. The capital island of our East India should be heavily invested into, so we bring it in line with a proper degree of industrialization for the day. Borneo and the Grotta Ost, or Grust. The great island of Borneo and the other islands collectively known as the Grotta Ost, the Great East, such as Sulawesi and the Molaccas, should be made more accessible to a growing population, allowing more industry to settle in the areas. Sumatra. Though the large continuous lag landmass entirely part, uh, uh, part of the East Indies, Sumatra, Java's and northern neighbors fallen well behind industrialization infrastructure, we should remedy this at once. I and mean, we obviously can't go this way. It is what it is. And they continue the war in Batavia. Ooh. But we have to capitulate first. Oh. We need Fokker. Oh, okay. Oh, no more. 50 more factors. That's not bad. Um, so we did this one, this one. We read about these. Continue the war in Batavia. We don't have to do that one, actually. non colonial army would be very nice to have, though. That's actually very, 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 very nice. Your first job. So after that, we'll probably also read about this one and modernize infantry equipment. Our infantry equipment is horribly out of date. If we were to have a decent chance of halting any invasion, this must be running meat and continental shipbuilding. Our shipyards in Holland, Zeeland, and Friesland must be greatly expanded to make any large scale naval construction plans. And naval, prepare naval expansion. We should prepare for an enlarged member navy well in time, and therefore should begin pouring resources into the expansion of Dutch shipbuilding already now. But I think I'll end it us there. I'm sorry I screwed this campaign up already in the first episode, but it is what it is. If you think I should use Cons commands just to get over here, please let me know, because this is this is kind of dumb. How you, you, The only way you can do this is by getting this thing, Personality Council. Regardless, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we'll see what is going to happen between the Germans, the British, the French, Italians, and all everyone else who wants to have one heck of a messy Europe. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.